Likely forever remain a brotherhood of warriors. That's right. Right? Yeah. Even though they're kids, I like these people are just, <laughs> they're just, they're just kids. <laughs> this is my mentor. When I grow up, I want to be like him. I was in the Navy when they had wooden ships and iron men. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. So now you're you get to socialize with the December seventh. I gotta keep these young here. kids. I gotta keep them in line. Uh, right? <laughs> he might tell you he don't like me. Why put up my bed? But he comes over to see me once a month. But doesn't we, you? We, we, we talk we talk to schools because they learn very little in history. Some of them don't even know where Pearl Harbor is. What is Pearl Harbor? They don't even know what the, when the war started there. They learn very little history. That's why I talk to so many schools. You Universities, clubs, anybody who listened to us, give them a little history lesson about what really happened there. A lot of them have no idea what happened and when it happened and where it happened. So we teach them a little bit of history. And I'm proud of they be able to do it. All right, great. Thank you. I appreciate your time. It finally quieted down a little Thank bit. You. If, this, if this kid gives you any problem, let me know. I'll take care of him. <laughs> All right. Okay. Great. So nice to meet you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Mickey. <laughs> you made the day. You made the day. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mickey, how you doing, Chuck? Oh, Mickey. Yeah, oh. I can. I told him a bunch of lies. <laughs> so, I got to go. I got to go.
So, so why did you come up here to see that? Well, because it's very important. We know that there are big concerns in our stores. They just tell us that, that you know, the people of the Bay Area are, are vulnerable people and that in doing this, it's a signal that they do remember and they do honor those people that were there that morning. And uh, once it's restored, once it's restored, we know that it's so long after the that beak is not just an ornament. No, no. To, to a lot of people, it's just another life. But I said there's two laps. Not the beacon, but what it means is what that means is what that means is you'll wear. You'll understand it. It shines out of the dollar store. It's not for us. It's a good, it's our way of remembering and the way of all of us here to all those guys that are still there. Wow. And like I said before, to me, I don't know about Mickey, but when they lifted that beacon up off the bottom, I felt almost like it, as if they were lifting our sunken shipmates up off the bottom of the harbor to be forever remembered and forever honored. They were, they were the heroes. They're the ones that didn't make it. And this is a remembrance of those people on that eventful day. Now, and I'll bet you, a lot of them are watching what you were doing here today. I feel that way. Have you ever been on the Arizona? I've been by it. Okay, well, if you ever go there. Because, wait, wait, it's my name? You see that? That's his name, Ford. His name is Ford. Well, your name is Ford. Yeah. Okay. Well, the island might have been named after you. I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay. Okay. Well, this is a, this is a great day. Just to be in, being here with such an important event of restoring that beacon, it's it's mean it's something that people can oh. see and remember. Sure. Why? You see, back then, you know, the World War II memorial, all those different memorials, hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars they cost. All these people asked. I wasn't I wasn't here in this local area right then. I wasn't a member of the Pearl Harbor Survivors Association, but I think Mickey was. Yeah. All they asked was. Let us use the old beacon, you know, because most all of us came from very humble beginnings. Yeah. I'm a farm we, boy from Ohio. I'm a farm boy. I didn't even know, know anything about the Navy until I joined the Navy. We didn't look for something new. We always looked for a new way to use something old, and that's what they were looking for. And it was so simple, and the cost was so little. It was already here. And I got, I almost, I think, Looking good still. Just check it. See, this beacon was dedicated the year after I retired from the Navy. I retired from the Navy in 1963. They started this being relit the beacon there in 1964, the, ne the next year, in honor of Admiral Nimitz. Our boss, our favorite, our idol, whatever he is great. Yeah, we named it Freeway after him, too. <laughs> and if that beacon, if that beacon wasn't being used for what it is being used for now, I doubt that it would be being, being restored. And maybe wouldn't even be here anymore, huh? Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> maybe we'd be gone like all the rest of them now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he's got that camera rolling there, right? He's got a camera. Oh. <laughs> That's okay. He just got right on in there. He says, yeah, let me just put my back on there. That's okay. <laughs> that is okay, but, actually. But I wouldn't, I yeah. wouldn't miss this being here today, and I'm going to be here when it goes back up, even if they have to haul me. And, you know, I'll, uh, I'll bring you up. Well, yeah. you do that. Yeah, if, yeah. They, and if, <laughs> I, if I pass away in the meantime, I'm going to have them embalm me and put me on the back of a motorcycle. And somebody can bring me up here. I'll bring you up here. Yeah. <laughs> I can watch that. <laughs> I want to be here. <laughs> that was awesome. It's like you, you, you remember well, that young, young man. Okay, a while back I got, uh, I got, uh, 
guys that do this anyway, yeah. they rode escort for one of our fellow survivors all the way down to the San Joaquin Memorial Cemetery. Yeah, I saw that on the email. I'm on that email. And Spike, the guy that's the Northern California coordinator for the Warriors Watch Riders program that, Riders. that do that. I yeah. know him real well. Uh, Navy man. He said, I, he said, Chuck, he said, I don't want to be, you know, speaking out of turn, but he said, I want to bring you here when time comes. You know? I said, only if you get a trailer and bring me behind the motorcycle. I don't want to ride no fancy hearse. I want to be sitting back there like the... You know, like yeah, that little thing they put what's kids that, in them. What's that movie, uh, uh, Vacation or something? Oh, yeah, right. Right. We'll put you on the top and we'll in a, in a, in a yeah. rocking chair. Like That's what we'll do. Right. That would be fine with him. <laughs> oh, my God. That's hilarious. That's pretty devoted. Yeah, well, you know, it is what it is, right? It is what it is. Well, that's going to be pretty